Hi, my name is Sandy Carter and I'm IBM's General Manager of Ecosystem Development and a Social Business Evangelist. And today we are into our Social Business Coffee Break. I'm really excited and I'm sure you're going to be puzzled, but today we're going to talk about everything you needed to know you learned in kindergarten. Now, why do I say that? Well, if you look at your kindergarten diploma, which I know one of our, my key leaders that I love at IBM has his kindergarten diploma up in his office. In kindergarten, we learned the importance of sharing. Remember that? We had to share toys, we had to share books, we had to share games. And it was uh, at that time, in that moment of our lives, something that was a strange concept, but we learned it and we got together and we made friends and relationships like we never did before because we shared. Now, I'm gonna take you back because today, back to the future, we can apply that learning to sharing of ideas. Innovation is about brainstorming together. In fact, if you look at key numbers that exist out there today, more innovation is driven by sharing ideas and concepts than by protecting them. Think about what problems could you solve in your company if you weren't worried about who was getting the credit, but you guys came together and you shared those big thoughts, how much more quickly you could innovate and how many more great things you could get out into the uh, marketplace. So let me just give you a quick uh, example. I love this example. So it's a candle problem. So just think with me, play a little game and try to attach this candle to the wall so that when it is lit, the wax will not drop onto the table. Now, as you're thinking about that and you're solving it by yourself, you probably are coming from a particular angle, a particular frame. Many of you may get the problem, but what we found in doing this in real life is that with a group, the problem is solved so much faster and so much more creatively. Now, if you think about help that you can get or ideas that you can get, you can get help as you're working and how many of you need help, but maybe you didn't know where to go to ask people. So here's one uh, solving of that problem that was done by a group, a group who was able to ask different experts in the group, and they solved this problem faster than anybody else. Now, I think it's amazing to discover who has real insight and where you can go to get help and how you do share that knowledge. And for me, that's where social really comes in. You got a question? Not milk, but social is the answer. So I, I see in solving this problem and going back to kindergarten of sharing, having a social network inside your company really does three things. One, it helps with that knowledge exchange, which benefits more people. Think about it, you send an email, you answer the email, you know, maybe one or two people get the benefit of that or the 52 that you copied, but not the whole organization. Secondly, I really see this with more frequent knowledge accidents, as I call them. How often are you walking down the hall and you bump into someone and they just happen to be working on something similar or they just happen to know this particular answer? I had this happen on the airplane the other day where I was sitting beside someone who was an expert in an area that I wanted to know more about. How do you have those knowledge accidents online in the social world with more global companies? And then three, how do you find that expert? Um, you know, we've done a couple of coffee breaks on finding expertise. I'm really big on getting the right expert to the right person who needs that help. And how can you find that more easily? Social is definitely the way. So let's take a look at this. When you have an, a question and someone gives you the answer, now the whole team can benefit when you do that in an activity stream. Not just one person, but everybody on the team can see that answer. Two, these knowledge accidents that we talked about, I think help companies progress in their innovation. These knowledge accidents are having people connect who didn't even know they had something in common that you used to do at a, you know, a coffee break now can happen online and drive greater innovation. And finally, getting to the right expert. We had talked several times that people waste a day, a week, trying to find the right expert that they need to drive the business. So use social to help find that expert much more quickly. Well, this has been our social business coffee break, all about you learned everything you needed to know at kindergarten. Thank you so much for your time.